Well, I'm gonna say is wash your legs. <laughs> Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, how the heck are you? My name is Tandy. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Click the title so you already know that I'm going to be taking you guys in the shower with me. But as you can see, I'm already clean and you know, skincare, skin is glowing. Yeah, I forgot to film an intro. So this is me saying hi. And let's jump into this video. But before we do, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, okay? Because I'm literally like bringing you into the shower with me. I feel like we homies, like we a little bit more than homies. Not everybody gets to shower with me. Don't think that I'm just out here, you know, being a bucket. You know the vibes, okay? You know what a bucket is. The fact that I'm letting you guys come in the shower with me, definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps YouTube, you know, push my video. And make sure that you are subscribed as well, okay? Subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell since YouTube be tripping and don't always alert you guys when I post the video. Without further ado though, let's jump right into this video. So this is my shower. I really wish I had a tub, but I don't. So this is what I have. Let me show you guys what I have here. So this right here, I wanted to tell you guys about this. This is eucalyptus. I always stop at my local plant shop once every week, every two weeks, because these don't last very long. Just because I really like to, you know, create a nice aromatherapy type of vibe while I'm in the shower. Bind it together with this, uh, I don't know, was, that's not called twine, what is it called? you know some string or whatever right and these actually need to be replaced because as you can see they're really crunchy and all of that and they're not supposed to be like that so those are kind of dried out i do need to replace those i really try to just show myself small little things that i can do to you know let myself know that hey i love you and i appreciate you and this is one way that i do that i actually got this idea from casey Aaliyah. if you guys don't subscribe to her channel you're freaking bugging definitely subscribe to her. I met her out in Miami a couple years back at an event. She's super cool, super chill, down to earth. Love her. Love putting branches in there. And also it just creates like a nice aesthetic to your bathroom, like in your shower. You feel me? I also use black soap. And excuse my dish, my dish looks freaking crazy. This is straight from Africa. Like this is what your black soap should look like. It should not be black. So that stuff that you guys are getting from other brands that's like black, that's not what it should look like. It should totally look like this. So let me put that back over there. This is just for decoration. There's, It's literally empty. <laughs> but it's hiding my oil, which I suppose I could put that in there, but it would just freak me out. Anyway, I'm... I digress. Behind this empty soap dispenser is oil. Once I turn off the shower, I love to use oil while my body is still wet. I make my own blend of different oils just so that, you know, I can keep my skin nice and smooth, baby. Okay, because if it's one thing the fellas know, Tandy skin stays smooth and popping, period. These are the shower steamers I'm going to be using today. Directions on the bag as well as the ingredients, and I'm just going to run my water first. These are available on the website www.tandycolada.com. There will be a link down in the description box. There's not many left, so if you do want to try these, which I highly would recommend because shower steamers are good for clearing up your sinuses as well as you know just really relaxing you. That's why I really wanted to make sure that I use lavender essential oils because lavender is really good at helping calm your nerves, stress, all of that. And since this is my nighttime routine, I like to use lavender scented things just to help me calm down as much as possible because my mind races at night you guys so let me go ahead and get my shower ready i'm just going to turn on the water here and i like a nice hot shower okay this is so simple to open a lot of times whenever you get shower steamers from other companies it's kind of hard to get open because they usually like saran wrap them and 
anybody got time for that, especially when you got nails. So I wanted to make sure that I made it very accessible. But you know, my homies wearing their nails. So this is what the shower steamer looks like. Oh my gosh, it, as soon as you take it out of the package, you can smell it while it's still in the foil. It's a total of 30 grams in a really, really hot shower. This normally lasts me for about a 20 minute shower. Um, I take fairly long showers. A shower is like one of my times where I actually like get to spin with myself. So I'm gonna take this and put this into my shower. And I'm also going to take my microfiber face cloth, which is also a part of my new bath and body collection and i really like this it's so soft you guys see that texture i love this when i get in the shower i like to wash my face because i can't stand washing my face at the sink because you know then the water runs down your arm let's say for whatever circumstance i had to wash my face at the sink is really good because it absorbs up to seven times its own weight it absorbs a lot of dirt water oil so you don't have to worry about water running down your arm getting all over your sleeves and messing up your clothes and stuff so these have been like a game changer for my skincare routine um the water's been running for a while it's time to add in the tablets Either there or in the corners somewhere will be good, but I usually just keep mine like right here. While I'm here in the shower, <laughs> I'm going to wet my cloth and show you guys just how good this cloth is at getting rid of my makeup. So my cloth is wet, right? saturated and this thing feels so heavy whenever it's wet but i'm just gonna bring it out a little bit and i didn't put any soap or anything on it mm -hmm. you can already see look got rid of all of that makeup I'm gonna do one side and show you guys side by side. I really like using it on the corners of my nose because I get makeup there a lot. It's like trapped there. And this is a really good exfoliator. I try not to tug at my skin. Still be gentle with your skin, but just know that it's not as abrasive as like a traditional cotton cloth or a makeup wipe. And you can already see, like this side is low key beat, this side is red, there's like no makeup. Um, I got a little bit of glue in my eye. <laughs> but as you can see, it even removed the damn glue. I know you guys can't see me all the way up, but you can see me undone literally night and day and that took literally no time so these are perfect to have in your you know overnight bag when you you know gotta meet up with bed at this time you can totally ditch the makeup wipes and just have a luxury face cloth the links to this will be down below in the description box so i did the rest of my face um I used my cloth and a little bit of black soap. That's how I've been cleaning my face. It's been working wonders on my skin right now. So I'm just gonna take some black soap on my washcloth and it's gonna look like my washcloth is dingy, but black soap literally like turns into like this ugly color. You see it? This stuff is good. Like I swear by it. Nothing's better than black soap. Nothing. Grab a dub dub. And I've always replaced my washcloths after every use simply because oh my God, I feel like the black soap stains it. And I like white washcloths. Are you somebody that likes white washcloths or do you like to use like colorful washcloths? Let me know in the comments down below. Well, I'm gonna say just wash your legs. <laughs> I can't believe that there's actually a segment of the population who doesn't like wash off their legs and their feet. Like all the dirt just falls down onto, like it trickles down, you know what I mean? You guys can't see this, but I have a 
stool in my shower, so I don't have to bend over too much. Cause yeah, girl, it's getting cold, okay? Yeah, time to be getting that. Because look, listen, if I get down, I'm not gonna be able to get back up. And that's so Mary had a little lamb, okay? And then I just rinse off. Feels so good. I still smell my steamer. It smells amazing. That's good. Next, I'm going to clean the twat. And I use the honey pot. Right now, that's what I'm using anyway. This is the sensitive formula. Okay. Oh, look. Right on time, the steamer is all steamed out. I always time it perfectly. I'm out of the shower. I threw on a little something, something. Normally I would throw on a nightgown, but I gotta do laundry, so it's gonna have to be boxes and a t-shirt tonight. Before I get started on my skincare, I'm going to, of course, throw on some deodorant. I use the Tom's. I like to use this one, because let me show you. This Tom's deodorant, see the difference? This one, baby. This one don't work at all, okay? I had a rude awakening. I was like, Thomas, why would you do me like that? I really use it now um, if I'm wearing like a dress or like a skirt or something. Rub this uh, on my thighs to prevent the chafing because I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm a product hoarder. Why would I throw anything away? I don't know what the difference is. Like this one, I will say like the texture is different. You see, this is more like traditional and this is more like that, I don't know what you would call it, like gel kind of consistency. But yeah, let's add some of this deodorant. And I find that natural deodorant like Tom's, it works for me. But I did say that after I run out of this, I do want to purchase black though. Um, Cause I have seen some different people, different brands I should say, that have their own deodorant. And I definitely wanna continue to support black. I'm in the transition right now of trying to get a lot more black owned household products, you know, everyday products, because these are literally like everyday necessities. Where I got my, I was about to say shea butter. Actually, I did get shea butter from them too. But where I got my black soap from was this place called The Necessities Co. They are black owned here in the Charlotte area. They got everything that you need, all the necessities. And no, they didn't pay me to say that. Like, that's just me spreading awareness to somebody else paying it for. I mean, it's Black History Month. I don't need to be paid to speak about a black business, right? But, oh, y'all probably like, what is you putting on your face? So I got this in BoxyCharm here recently and I've been trying it out. It's the Pharmacy 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. I just been using it cause I have it and I wanna tell you guys how I feel about it. I kinda sorta mentioned it and told you guys that I was using it. As you can see now, like, I don't know if you can see from back there, but I'm about a third of the way done with it. I like it, I think it does, Help, especially if you have oily skin. So this is the Dior One Essential. I talked about this before. But next I'll go in with my serum and I'll always try to go up when I put my serums and creams on. And then on the forehead, you kind of go like this. I learned these techniques from Chanel Trainings. I mean, if it's good for them, it should be good for me, right? So this is the LeBlanc Essence Lotion. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys remember when I told you about how I burned myself? That scar is still there. Child, it's the struggle for me, okay? Black dot. Next, I'm gonna go in with another serum. This is the Dior Snow, the Essence of Light. It's a milk brightening serum. One thing I'll say about Dior skincare, it smells amazing. Boom, got that on. Now I'm gonna go in with some Kiehl's Vitamin C. And this is 12%, 12.5% vitamin C, okay. Mm -hmm. 
try to avoid my under eye. Nothing else that I need out of my fridge. Next, we're going with a uh, moisturizer. This is the Night Cream by Chanel. Take about two pumps. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my God, got it on my eyelash. That means that my eye is going to be watering tonight. Love that for me. I really got a taste for Sonic. I want one of them, them slushy things. What are they called? Is that Sonic or is that Dairy Queen? I think it's Sonic, right? Where they got like the slushies. I want one of them. That shit is so smack. Yo, Sonic is so far away from me. I'm trying to figure out if I want to risk it all for some Sonic right now. I mean, and you know, they COVID safe because they social distance already, like before the pandemic. I literally just have to stay in my car. I'm gonna be mad if I go over there and they close. I don't need to be eating that heavy, greasy ass food right now, but I don't feel like cooking, yo. And all I had today was like a small sandwich. <sighs> um, I'm gonna spray myself with a little fragrance before bed. Bedtime fragrance of choice lately. This is the new Dior Jador Infinisme. Infinisme. It's the one that's got like the dangly necklaces. That's what they're supposed to be. They're supposed to mimic like royal necklaces. I've been loving this. This stuff smells so good to me. It makes me smell delicious and I love that for me. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video because I really can't get Sonic out of my head. So I feel like I need to go there. Like, I think that's a sign, right? Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you like it or found it helpful in any way, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, okay? Subscribe to the channel if you made it all the way to the end. Love to have you here. Yeah, hope to see you soon.